What it is, y'all? It's your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back today with more Konosuba. Now, guys, I know we are right on the cusp of the uh, of the Damachi collab, but we just got a brand new battle arena. Let's have a quick discussion about this. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Rather than summoning at this point or going after any of the new units, or really just, I guess, like I, I don't want to say not going try hard on this, but really. Rather than just wasting any of my precious gems on this, I really kind of chose just to recycle an old team. But let's get down to what this is and how to do this, okay? Beware of light physical attacks and seal attacks. So uh, uh, enemies are relatively weak to haze and magic attacks, okay? So because she's light type, you know, uh, dark type is going to be preferential. And since it does say magic, you already know pretty much who to use. So let's go ahead and gear and do a training session, okay? So, as you saw there, 2.2 mil is about my best. Um, I am running Megamine on uh, number one, obviously because we're really going to kind of use her for her AoE attack and get her kind of out of the way. Uh, I am also going to utilize... Oh, I'm going to utilize this uh, the new Amy, the... Oasis Dancer, Amy. Like I said, I could go after dupes of her. She's really good. But I've kind of chosen not to. Um, just for various reasons. And once again, I do have some uh, some potions. And I could level her up. But honestly, I don't really need to at this juncture. So, like I said, I'm going to utilize her. She's really, really, really good. And then I'm going to bring in ROA. Now, the reason that I'm going to do this. Let me go ahead and just close this out here real quick. Uh, we need to boost magic attack, right? So she does uh, superior recovery for all allies and significant boost to magic attack for all allies for 16 seconds. Aruwe does uh, dark magic damage to all enemies and significant reduction of their magic defense. Now that's going to be really good, but boost to magic attack is actually going to affect Megamine a little bit. And I think, unless I'm mistaken here, yeah. So... Uh, Wiz already reduces magic defense, so it's really kind of redundant to have ROA in the front end. I'd rather have somebody that boosts magic attack, and since Amy does uh, healing, she's going to be really, really, really good for this. She's going to keep everybody alive on the front end. Okay. Finally, I'm bringing in this 3-star Celio. Now, this 3-star three, three Celio, don't, don't mistake it, she's really solid. Uh, she does dark magic damage to all enemies. And minor boost to magic defense for all allies. Now, while that's not physical defense, you know, it is what it is. We're going to have a healer. But she's going to come in as another healer also. Uh, and uh, cleans bond. Uh, I'm sorry, bind. So, I don't think we have bind on this one. But it, it's, it's a good unit all around. She does dark damage. Like I said, this is literally just a recycled team. This team isn't terribly special or really, like, you know, top tier in any way. Right now, I'm saving everything I've got for the collab unit. So let's just do a quick training session and see what kind of damage we get out of this team. As I said, we've run this team before. This team is not new. There's really no magic or mystery to this team. It is literally just a very standard team that we know can get the job done. Now, once again, if I really, really, really was playing my cards right, making sure Megamine gets in the killing blow is going to help out drastically. Because that's going to increase Meg uh, Megamine's SA gauge, and she's going to do her SA a lot faster. Now, looks like she's actually about to do it here. This is perfect. Everybody does their SA after this, and they really bolster the rest of the team. That's really here for the damage. Now, there is some benefit to do Wiz doing her SA... Uh, before Megamine croaks, there is that benefit, and I probably could have held off to do that. Megamine will do a decent amount more damage, but really Megamine's not our major damage unit here. We've got all our dark units on the front end. You know, it's it's kind of six one half dozen the other, but let's see what kind of actual numbers we get out of this run here. Remember, every unit we have on here, with the exception of Wiz at this point, is a dark unit. So we should get a really respectable score. Okay, we just hit for 10k. What are we seeing here? We've got 14 seconds left. Amy should be getting an SA. Now it's gonna be boost, it's not gonna be damage, but it also bolsters the heal and all that stuff. And looks like we need it actually. That was a big Oh, ROA's down. Oh, oof. 
It is what it is. We got two healers now. Obviously, losing Wiz would, Wiz would be a little bit better. Only a 1.8 mil, but let's actually check. You guys know I always like to check the top 10. And let's see what other people are getting here. And like I said, I haven't like really modified this team. This is just an older team that I recycled to run this. And from time to time, I'll do that just to make life simple for myself. But it's a team that should work. So let's go ahead and take a look and see. Top 1,000 would be 2.4 mil. And I'm sure they're running very similar teams. Uh, that person has Wiz on the back end. I'm not sure why. That's a bit of a weird choice. I kind of see what they're doing, though. But you have two units that bolster. Well, yeah. So you have magic attack and magic defense. Uh, I could see that. Let's see a couple other teams here. So 2.4 is the top 1,000 mark. And there's very similar teams. In fact, someone else is running that dark uh, Megamine. Though, I don't, I'm not 100% sold on that tactic. Um, but... You know, like I said, I probably have the damage in my team. I just have to build the team up a little bit more. But uh, I don't know why everyone's running Wiz on the back side. You know, just for curiosity's sake, what would happen if we did a quick training session with Wiz on the back? I'm just curious. Now, she does magic defense, so what I would do is put ROA in the front. Okay. It's the same he's going to heal. I'll put Celio in front of... Yeah. Oops. Go back. Go back. I'll put Celio up there. There we go. Let's just see what happens. I'm just curious what the difference would be. Because remember, we've got a significant reduction of their magic defense and... An increase in magic attack. Now, I don't have her extra attack, but I, I'm, I'm not going to go after that. That Her her second essay is not going to be that big of a deal. Um, neither really is her. Yeah. So, City of Boost to Physical and Magic Attack is going to be a little bit better. Just in case, like, you know, Amy goes or, for, or you know, whatever happens to have, occur there. So, let's just see. I really am curious if there's something to putting Wiz on the backside. Um, Wiz has always been a really good frontline unit, but I kind of see where they're going here. Having the ma you know, having a unit that does healing and the magic boost on the front side, along with Ra, who actually does the uh, magic uh, defense reduction. Okay, Megami me got in the last blow there. Uh, so probably the best bet here would be for uh, our way to go, and then for Megami to go. So let's see what happens if this occurs. So we get ROA. We should get Megami next. Perfect. And then Amy's going to come in for the heal, though we really don't need the heal yet. Oh, actually, I take the back. I think she actually waits until we have uh, someone below 50% health. I think we have to have at least one unit on the team with lower than 50% health. And we just got old girl murder. Good grief. That's it. It is what it is. She was a three-star. All right, Amy. Do your thing, girl. There you go. There you go. So, I, logically, I kind of see the move here. And the more I'm seeing how the team works, I do see how this could work. But if I'm honest, I probably need to bolster my, uh, my fourth slot a little bit more to get more out of this team. But, uh... Let's see. Let's see what kind of numbers they get here. Yeah, unfortunately, we lost. We lost our frontline units, so that score is not going to be great. But I do kind of see it. Um, so it's it's very six of one, half dozen of another at this point. Uh, my weak spot on my team is going to be that third slot. So maybe if we go at, back out here and we address that third slot unit, let's go ahead and do that real quickly here. Okay, probably we just need to grab another three stars. So let's see what dark three stars we have. So filter down by two and three star units. And we do have uh, Union, who magic damage one enemy, a minor boost to magic attack for all enemies. 
But for all allies, let's just see what happens if we throw her on the team here. Okay, now Yun Yun will be able to use the, the specialized staff. We'll go ahead and give her just some general uh, four-star level five equips, or I say equips, defenses. Uh, notice everybody actually has a specialized weapon except for Amy. I haven't farmed Amy's weapon uh, for various reasons. But let's go ahead and give Yun Yun some good, uh, good subs. And I'm really curious to see if there's going to be that much of a difference to this team. I kind of don't suspect it, but I do know she is maxed. Whereas I don't know if the other one was. So let's just run quick training session now once again we know that the uh the other team the first team that i showed you guys with uh celio in slot five and wiz in slot one that team actually did 2.2 mil now whether that's the f you know the top end of what they're capable of that i don't know but you know we do know the cold hard facts about that team all right so my biggest concern here is I know Arue is going to get her essay here really soon. I'm going to try to... Actually, we can do it whenever. So she'll do it here. The Megamine will do hers. Okay? And then Amy will basically hold off on hers for a bit of time. Now, honestly, if I had some good light defenses here, um, this would be much better. I could probably go farm those up. But I'm saving everything I've got. And I mean literally everything I've got is being saved for the collab. I'm really hyped for this collab, so I'm not going to waste any any more uh, time or really uh, utility more or less until, uh, until that collab drops, which should be dropping here really soon. I believe within the next 48 hours it should be dropping. So we're in a lot of luck here. We did lose Amy, which is a big hit that means that ROA is down okay so we lost our healer and that's a bad situation but let's said until further notice I'm gonna say well the teams are really part of the course I don't think putting Wiz on slot three hurt the team but probably getting more dark damage did a little bit better so one of the things that would help this team out is to farm up some more light defenses but as I said, with the collab incoming, I don't think it's necessary. And I could probably run this team a few times or maybe even after the event drops and I know where I want to put my potions, I could drop some potions on a couple of these teammates and get a little bit more damage out. So 2.4 is on the horizon. This is going to take a tiny bit of work to get there. But there you guys go. That's basically Team Building 101 for this event. Like, comment, share, let me know your thoughts down below. And if I made any mistakes, as always, let me know. Uh, I think pretty much that should be pretty good. Though, once again, I do know if I manually ran this and I kind of manipulated Mega Mina Wiz, we could do this a little bit better. But um, it is what it is. See you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for, uh, for following along. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. Hit the little like button. All the good stuff I'm supposed to tell you what to do. And we out.